Hi Scorpio, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. So this is going to be your general reading for the month of February. Um, bear in mind that spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum. So the only time by which we tell time is divine time. You dig what I'm saying? Okay, so for this spread, we've got your over and over all energies here. Overall energies here. And you've got your past, present, and future energies here. Clarifiers here and either summary or final advice from spirit here. Also, this is a general read. Not everything is going to resonate with everyone. So take what resonates and leave what does not. If you do want something more specific or generally tailored to you, um, information to connect with me is in the description box. All right, let's get this party started. Coming out first, number 25, Aloha Ke Akua. Get close so you can see all of the gorgeous color. All right, oh, let me get the book. We need the book for this. Aloha Keakua, blessings of the Supreme Being. Aloha Keakua, the divine is love. The Supreme Being from which all life emanates manifests a blessing for you. The realm of the heart is love's temple. When you enter the heart, you gain access to the Great One and to the mana, the power, authority, grace, and magnetism to manifest your divine destiny. Trust what is meant for you. Surrender doubt and disconnection in favor of love and respect for the Great One, and you shall live your true destiny with joy in your heart. Love can and will conquer all. I guess that thing just totally migrated as I was reading. However, comma. Aloha. Keakun. All right. So, past, present, the future energies, you've got the Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Mm. Mm -hmm. Again, with the equity, I think this was part of your theme last uh, last reading as well. There was a there was a whole air of calling it like it is with you. So you're getting a leg up. You're getting a leg up with resources you're being you're also being honest with yourself and with those around you about how you're going to move forward because you're you're about you're minding the business that pays you and it's working out it's starting to it's starting to work out minding the business that pays you So to clarify the six of pentacles, we have the five of swords, the hanged man, and the lovers. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you are okay. So... 
with the five of swords, it's, there's, there's a lot of information. There's a lot of information that's been painful for you. But with the hangman, you're taking that information. You're not just um, running away from the pain, actually. You're taking it and going past that and really looking at the heart of the matter. Right. And choosing with this lover's card to really see what's true, what really needs to be shaken up because you know that in order to get to where you want to go, that you've got to make some necessary adjustments. So with this five of swords, with this five of swords, you, the adjustments may not necessarily be great, but you're willing to take them and you're really willing to, with this hangman, really look at the information from a different point of view because if it's really that painful if it's that painful it's really just painful to what you're used to and it's not necessarily a personal attack and you're choosing yourself in the long run to make these adjustments so you're willing to go through the difficult part the difficult parts here with this five of swords so the queen of swords is clarified by the ace of cups the five of pentacles and the world card i mean if it's just going to repeat themselves if it's if they're just going to repeat themselves you So yeah, you've got the ace. Of, I'm going to have to adjust this light. Hold on. There. Now let's see what that does. Oh, yeah, that's a little bit better. All right, so with the Ace of Cups, that's that's the beginning of emotional fulfillment, right? It's the seed to what could be emotional fulfillment if it's cultivated properly. And with the five of pentacles, that's usually the left out in the cold kind of card. But here it's, you've got the cardinals and you've got the two cardinals here and they're building a nest. So it's not about, it's not about the loss. It's about preserving what's left right it's it's about preserving what's still here because with the world card you're doing something new get always donut you're doing some new stuff so with the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles is clarified by the knight of wands the eight of wands and the nine of wands. Yeah. So the knight of wands is very fast moving energy. It's very passionate. It's about making that move, shooting that shot and shooting it with, with confidence, right? And the Eight of Wands traditionally is the card of fast moving information, right? 
you got you got stuff coming in you you, you got some messages but here here it's the framework for it, it looks like the framework for the home that she's building for the for the dwelling that she's building right and then you follow that up with the nine of wands it took a lot of work right it took a lot of work to get here and you see even here she's down on her knees but in the very next suit she's standing up uh, come on now not only is she standing up she has one more wand to add to the structure right so it's hard work yes but it's worth it because there's going to be something grand to come of this so with the final messages we've got the three of wands we've got the six of wands yep nine of pentacles and the temperance card so there's going to be some cooperation that comes along with this like yes you're making new choices and you're doing new stuff but that's also going to put you in a new position to be able to collaborate with like-minded individuals that is going to raise your stock so to speak right and giving you an opportunity to be able to stand on your own and be autonomous which is what you really want but not only that you'll be able to balance all of these new pieces that are coming into your life and you'll be able to do it beautifully so Scorpio thank you for spending some time with me today and until we meet again remember to be good to yourselves and to each other and I will see you whoops and I will see you next time. Bye now.